Excellency, uh, in all this thing, Abdi Adumakinde is um, one man that I really, really admire, you know, so much. I mean, from afar, before my appointment, I've always, you know, followed him very, very, very closely. And I just felt like there was something different about you know, this uh, man. He's a man that, when he promised, he fulfilled. He's always calm. His love for the people for your state is so parallel and equal. He believes science must speak into the data and data must come up with the logic which we have to use to implement. He can listen to you sleep for 20 hours, he won't interject. He, he works day and night. Uh, he's never tired. If you can convince him that there's merit in what you're proposing, is somebody that provides the necessary support to get it through the system and to allow you to do it. He is more like a father to everyone who works with him. Well, I would describe him as somebody that wants results. I would say Governor Shema Kinde is an amiable, friendly uh, person who doesn't uh, take nonsense. Anything that concerns the welfare of people, whether it's staff or whether it's just the people of your state, he's emotionally tied in and attached to me. He doesn't magnify problem and he doesn't underrate problem as well. So he gives the he gets the true picture of the problem. So and he will provide the answers that will meet or head long with that problem. He's, yeah, I've heard about governors who are always enjoying. I don't, whenever I see him, I don't think he's enjoying. I think he's really, really worried. It is just a few minutes past 8 a.m. as we wait for His Excellency to come down these stairs. Judging from the movement and snatches of conversation we have been hearing, it will happen any minute now. Morning. Morning. So the folks are here again. Okay, so what are we up to? Well, we yeah. are going to follow you around trust everywhere you go. With all of this, sir. Uh... Yes, yes, sir. Everywhere you go, once we see what your typical day is like. Okay. Let's sign some files, then. All right. Uh, puffy. Today, we'll be starting with the signing of files. But while we try to keep out of His Excellency's way and let him do his job, we're hoping we will get opportunities to ask him questions about his work in or your state. So typically, how long does it take you to go through files? No, I don't do files every day. Okay. Yeah, so um, the well, some if they have uh, some that's very urgent. Uh, this is a, a very old system. I've been trying to modernize it in a way you can approach things uh, uh, on the go, on your phone or tablet and things like that. But because you have too many vested interests, uh, it's been difficult uh, getting them to uh, buy into it. So people are more... Um there are more people who want to do different methods to maintain. Exactly, because uh, that is uh, uh, what they know how to manipulate, you know. And some, they will even remove some things in the file so that uh, uh, your decision, you know, can be uh, skewed in their favor. It's a game. 
when I catch them and I uh, uh, do the right thing, I win. So he will slip through and then. Uh, uh, they win. Yes. But uh, I think uh, I've been winning for a lot of the time. So. An interesting file and ah. a revelation. This file is uh, an interesting one. Yeah. Somebody asked for a new media equipment for the office of the official photographer too. So. Did you get me signed? Yeah, I just don't have <laughs> Yeah, this uh, was uh, sent uh, 7 February. So, you can see why uh, sometimes government uh, 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 project approvals they get delayed. And, you know, uh, okay, this is also an interesting one. More signing of files. And then... Okay, so done, dusted, this one up breakfast and then go to the office. Breakfast oh, is yeah. the sauce and a cup of orange juice. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Before you go and report somewhere that there, the government is chopping low. We were not expecting it, but we were surprised by an unscheduled appearance by Toby and Tayo McIntyre. Who's the sleeper? Are you even Can you imagine Will you tag me on Instagram? I cannot go to do that. Okay. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Maybe I should just introduce her. Uh... Well, look at me right now. Well, yeah, I mean, you're who you are. That's uh, Toby. Hello, I'm Toby. Hello, I'm Mark Hi. Yeah. Okay. So we can have breakfast. Thank you. 
Actually, you guys can introduce yourself properly. What, what should I say? Hi, <laughs> my name is Toby. I'm a student. That's my introduction. The yeah, student, I thought that like, you started working. Well, I'll be working this summer, but I still have two years left till I finish my degree. So, are you the one who has the YouTube channel? Yes, I am. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's on hiatus right now, but I'll be restarting it soon, probably. Yes, yeah, so since Toby's gone, uh, I'm a child. Uh, I am a student, and that, that's really, that's really, that's really it. Done with breakfast and family, His Excellency kicks off the first of several meetings of the day. And then we are off to the office. to settle into the office and plan his day. Let us find out more about the man that right now occupies the top seat at Agody Secretariat as recounted by people who have worked closely with him in the past three years. I can recall one particular instance where we we went out together to go and inspect um, the, the public lighting and some members of the community uh, approached him and, and wanted an extension. Now this extension was not something that was conceived in what we had done but upon hearing the calls of the residents of the state that we are um, uh, governing at this moment in time he said, look, whatever needs to be done to extend it, we've seen that it is needed in this community. We need to find a way of doing it. My shima in the moment was, uh, we went on an official trip to Bomosha. And uh, when we had finished the engagement we went for, we all entered the, the bus that was sitting us back. And there was some, a lot of commotion that was going on. And I think in the process of the commotion, Okada riders and bike fell. And His Excellency noticed that and he asked them to stop the bus. And we stopped the bus, he got out of the bus, went to meet the Okada rider and his bike had fallen. They had an exchange of words, and one of the things we noticed that and they put the Okada rider and his Okada into our convoy and they brought him to Ibadan. And I think in the process, she, the executive governor of the state actually um, went, spoke to him, and they were able to give him a better package. Um, it showed a lot of compassion, a lot of love, you know, that he felt for his people. I mean, for me, uh, humility and just being there for his people, that was one of the issues. I think the time that I was so proud the most was when we went to um, the African Development Bank a meeting in the uh, uh, Republic of uh, uh, in Abidjan, you know, and um, there were other governors there. Um, we came a little bit late because it was a meeting, you know, and we have to we fly down to uh, Abidjan in negotiation for $49 million um, that is meant for new agribusiness industrial for your state. And um, when this man, uh, Governor Shady Market, entered, everywhere became silent. You know? um, it's as if everybody has been waiting for him to, to come. Um, the aura around the room changed completely. Uh, even all the governors were looking at him, and I was looking at all, all, all others. Uh, the president of the AFDB precisely look at him and say, welcome, my brother. Um, and after the whole meeting, um, it became the center of attraction to everybody in his humility and, and all. I got a feedback from the UK government, um, some of the um, colleagues that work with the UK government, and they said um, the, 
depth of knowledge of Governor Sherimakite in the subject of discussion that it was amazing to them, despite the fact that he wasn't there from the beginning when they started that discussion. He, he understood, you know, um, agribusiness really well. Um, he spoke as if he was an agribusiness specialist in that meeting and he was able to defend the state of the call. If he says he will do it, he has one little book, black book he takes about. Once he writes it there, he goes back and reflects on it and tries to get it. Oh, there's the black book. No, this is not good. <laughs> But well, that's definitely the book. It is the book where I keep uh, my records. Where you keep what, all uh, your records? Yes. What uh, are the things that uh, I have to do for the day and all of that. So what's the plan for the day? I know, I have uh, a meeting with uh, some uh, French uh, departments in the health sector. So. Uh, they need to brief me on uh, uh, what, uh, what I have done. Uh, yeah. And uh, I'm just going for a quick discussion and I'll do it. And then I have a school also to do Quick inspection turned out to be not so quick. First, it involved a two to three kilometer walk to and fro, which was good for those of us who were trying to clock in our steps for the day. But it was also a detailed inspection, which was reflective of Professor Musiba Babatunde's Sheyi Makinde moment. That was the time we went to inspect the uh, one year uh, at the end of the, the Oyo to the same road, he gave a breakdown of everything that has been done on the bridge and on that route. The percentage of hard work that has been done, he was saying that okay, we've covered this particular kilometer, this is my own report about it. And I was, I was, I held him in awe of that act. This is an extraordinary person that can give a total breakdown of a road, of a road construction that has been done for quite some time and they're just inspecting it. It's able to give us all the factors, all the, all the uh, statistics about that particular road. The beginning challenge is that where we are right now, we have about 90%. One percentage is the uh, landscape and all of it. We have different uh, lot. This is lot one. Uh -huh. This is lot two. So that's lot one. This is lot two. So on the lot uh, two, it's about five percent. So what is the revised uh, schedule? Uh, they have sent in a letter last week to the NNC that uh, they are should uh, give them a certain amount of money for them to complete the project and they are backing up their reports to give them a guarantee or the alternative the government's government to the insurance company. And that has already been sent to the office of the process uh, for the other guarantee. Inspection ended and it was time to brief the press. And then walk back to the office. The walk was punctuated by cheers from civil servants and even random people on the streets.
office. And Governor Makide has the very short meeting with Professor Daoud Kendi Shongodoi, the Commissioner for Works and Transport, reminding us of this clip. When we were given the letter to take the ownership of Naute, at the beginning I was there. At the end, the Lord made use of me. He was so happy to, to he didn't know when he was out to say, Stop, you have made me proud. Still, no time to rest as His Excellency moves straight onto another meeting with Senator Montserrat Sumonu. Immediately after, he meets with the French authorities regarding their work in the health sector. Nice to meet you. Good morning. Uh, I understand you want to start off uh, the presentation. I'll join you, sir. Uh, good morning. Uh, so we'll, we'll see you in about five minutes. Once you make our start. Well, uh, fortunately, I, uh, my French is uh, really... We can discuss and improve any time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. about what it is like working with His Excellency. And then we'll check back to see what's next on Governor Shei Makade's schedule for the day. Um, His Excellency's work rate. If you're a football person, you know Kante place for Chelsea and um, this is someone who runs around the pitch like 90 minutes non-stop and that kind of exemplifies his excellency and how he works. He is one person who if you work with you really have to be serious about your work because you could literally just be coming back from a four day trip and there is no chance for you to go home because from the airport you're going to another event and the next day you're probably traveling to Ogumosho or Kishi or some very remote place in your state. His Excellency is a very compassionate person and that's why you see what he does for the pensioners, you see what he does for the workers, you see what he does with physically challenged. Everything about him is all about the people, how the people will do the work. Something happened very recently and that's a very memorable thing that lingers in my head every time I remember His Excellency. Former Governor Lakes, Adibayu um, Akala. During the campaign, you know, the normal electioneering, politicking stuff and all of that, a video came out and um, it was kind of negative about His Excellency coming from him. But he never bothered. We went on with the campaign. Thank God we came out victorious. But nobody knew that um, both father and son had been interfacing on all of that. Not until sometime this year when, okay, yes, it was in January. It was supposed to be an interfaith prayer, you know, to herald a new year, a new working year. The governor was actually supposed to meet with workers, which is an annual thing that he does, and everyone was out there on the field. And news filtered him that um, the former governor of the state, Ajipayu Alawakala, had passed on. 
everyone thought everyone didn't know the kind of reaction that would have on Governor Shiruma Kode. He came out. He was supposed to speak. But he couldn't. And that's one side everyone had never seen about him. He couldn't say anything. He just called off the entire program and asked that they want to leave because if former governor had died. Uh, that should be in 2019, I think towards the end of the year, when we had to go to Kishi to launch this health care initiative, free health care service for the people of Kishi. And uh, that was our longest journey because we uh, left Ibadan quite early and we got back very late in the evening. So you know, one would have expected him to like, oh, the Commissioner for Health should um, go over there and oversee what's going on. But he, actually went there himself. So I would say his work rate is quite, uh, uh, is actually above the roof, so to speak of, because uh, when you compare him to other governors in the past, you have to give it to him. I've actually learned a whole lot working with him, which is nothing is impossible. And at times it just makes some decision like, no, no, why is he, and everybody grumble. But at the end of the day, you realize that oh man, this man is so, so intelligent and wise. So most times when he makes us any kind of decision, I don't even, because I know that at the end of the day, you definitely see why he made those decisions and they are always right. We're back in time to see the end of the meeting with the French authorities. So, What's next? Yeah. So we're back to loneliness now. <laughs> we're talking. We're used to it. As His Excellency works on his black, sorry, blue book, we ask him more not so governance related questions. I was going to ask you, sir. How does it feel that each time you drive out, drive out the street, you see your face, you see your face? I hardly look up. <laughs> yes, are those guys right? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Sir? I had the look of honestly. So I just you learned. don't notice that your face is everywhere? Well, I know, uh, I see uh, some billboards and things like that, but really, I guess uh, uh, I'm impervious to it. Okay, what was it like at the beginning? Well, you know, um, uh, of course, I made some billboards for the 2019 election. Uh, they all disappeared after the election, and then uh, for two, two and a half years, uh, it was strictly government. And it's now that we are into the political season that people are making billboards again on the party. Uh, but, um, yeah, we have to live with that. I'm going to accept that as a response. Another thing that a lot of people have said is that your actions show that you genuinely care about people. Yeah, we shouldn't be here if uh, we're looking uh, at doing something as we do. And I will have uh, personally been very tired. Not for the fact that each time I go out, I see the impact of some of the things that we on the people. You know, that's actually uh, uh, a part of what has uh, kept me going. Otherwise, uh, uh, I'm somebody that is not, uh, uh, not uh, how do I say, it? I'm not. Uh, I'm 
too much in a hurry to you know to see results and uh, try uh, new things. Maybe I will have been uh, in the farm that I will try to do something. Let's see. So have you ever felt like giving? No, no, no. I, I mean, it took me a bit of time before I decided that I was actually going to run for a second. I thought I've proven my point to the people that you know, we can have a government, we can tell the people that I was just going to go. And then uh, quite a number of people came and said, uh, look what, uh, uh, please, let's uh, stretch this a uh, little bit uh, more. So, <laughs> so you were just going to like disappear into the sunset after the first after the first time you were just going to say, okay, okay, go. No, but uh, before I came here, I was doing something that is also uh, challenging and gives me a lot of uh, uh, satisfaction. Yes, so uh, yes, indeed. They are ready. Okay, so. We we'll go for a meeting uh, now. Politics, uh, political meeting at the government house. Okay. Okay. Well, okay, that's fine. I think you can. You can so, okay. Uh, we'll meet you guys uh, downstairs. Then. All right. And what is a political meeting without the political sounds? During this meeting, Governor Shea Makide announced that barrister Bayo Nawal would be his running mate for the 2023 gubernatorial elections. His Excellency Barrister Bayo Lawal now serves as the Deputy Governor of Oyo State following the impeachment of the former Deputy Governor. To the office, and it is time for the Oyo State Executive Council Exco meeting.
Tonoshi Makine shows that he's a team leader. He has zero tolerance for corruption, very prudent, and he doesn't use sentiment to judge any situation, and that's the reason why we are recording the sources that uh, despite the uh, little resources we are having on If we're, we're in a, an event or a ceremony, whether it's the lowest or whether it's the highest person there, Governor McKinney will reach out to them. He makes a connection with them. I really admire that. And I think also it's a lot of responsibility, it's a lot of pressure, it's a lot of um, work on one person. But he manages to handle all of it with a calm disposition. So you know sometimes I run in and say, oh your excellency, this matter, I think it's urgent, I think it's burning, and it just calms me down. I've worked with him on two different accounts. I've worked with him as the focal person for COVID and I've worked with him as a commissioner. And I see um, in him something I wish I can emulate. Being attentive, very attentive. He will not interrupt. And then when he wants to respond, he responds with clear things in mind. And that's something that um, I've seen from him, even at the State Executive Council. It's something that um, I actually applaud and something I wish to emulate really well. After the EXCO meeting, a private consultation with the Commissioner for Land, Housing, Survey and Urban Development, Mr. Shemu Olaiwola. Just when we thought the office day was over, it wasn't. Oh, and uh, how are you? And uh, don't you know for let them come. Let them come. Yes, it's Until it is over. <laughs> End of a day with GSM. Think again. 
the day is far from over. Excellency kicks off his shoes, but is still available for consultations. He meets with the then Commissioner for Local Government and Chieftaincy Matters, Chief Bayolawal, the Commissioner for Works and Transport, Professor Dahut Kendish Onkodoi, and the Commissioner for Energy and Mineral Resources, Barrister Sheo Ashamu. In between these meetings, we witness a presentation by Toby McIntyre. So, this is a gift from my daughter, and it's 25% it. uh, alcohol. Yeah, I can this. It's cream. Really? Well, you're supposed to keep drinking, but you're not so, supposed to pour a lot. Yeah. It kind of tastes like water. With so, you've been drinking? <laughs> what else do you do in Korea? But do you like a cup of coffee? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is like uh, our own uh, logo here. Let me try. <laughs> yeah. I'll have a cup with you. So this yeah. is all you're missing there. Yeah, you're supposed to go. You're supposed to hold your hand like this. But I'm older than you, so you're the one. Hey, every, no, everyone does it. Okay. I poured you the cup. Okay. Okay. It's pretty good soju. They know you have uh, uh, major delta blood in you. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. Okay. Usually when I drink with someone older, I have to go with So we won't know you're drinking? It's just, I don't know, like culturally what you're supposed to do. But I hope you enjoyed it. All right, thank you. You can I'll just leave it out there for you. I'll go inside. Okay. I'll see you later. Have a good meeting. Mm -hmm. The meetings are anything but over as His Excellency spent the next few hours meeting with members of the Unity Forum, led by Honorable Awuleya Dada.
keep his promise to Toby and Taya, but quick stop as he says a greeting to his aunt, who has come in from Ondo State for the birthday of Her Excellency, Engineer Tamunominini Mackinday. Mrs. Mackinday's birthday is just two days away. Another quick meeting with Chief of Staff, Honorable Shegun Wuyi, and then it is time to go. His Excellency and his kids the needed privacy for an evening out while we catch up with more three years in office projects.
Oh, yeah. Okay. So, you guys are not tired of this. Huh? Are you tired of this? No, not yet. Back from Bidar, it is past 10 p.m. His Excellency spares a few minutes to catch up with current affairs on what's happening at the All Progressives Congress primaries. But he is not done with meetings. The private meeting is up next, but he is gracious enough to let us capture the beginning. This is no Cinderella story, but as midnight approaches, His Excellency has one more private meeting. He has an 8 a.m. flight to Abuja the next day, and his day is finally winding to a close. Okay, this is now. This is just uh, midnight. Uh, okay, so thank, th th thank you so much, uh, <laughs> uh, guys. At least. Uh, uh, for those uh, uh, looking for this job, they know uh, what to expect. Eh? <laughs> uh, this is uh, uh, very uh, similar uh, to what my typical day eh? uh, uh, looks like. So, thank you. Have a good night now. Uh, good night. Uh,